We have been with the EU strategy on health and safety for the last 30 years and more. And suddenly, uh, in 2012, uh, the Commission stopped uh, the preparation of a new strategy. Every year we have more than 160,000 people, workers, who die in an accident related to work or because of an occupational disease. And these figures are of course unacceptable and really absurd. We are trying to convince the Commission that it's their duty to adopt a new strategy. It's part of the EU treaty. Enough labour inspectors, for example, good legislation that is comprehensible for everybody, uh, preventive services that are independent, the attack on cancers at the workplace, a good regulation concerning MSDs. So these are the big challenges that are uh, there for the future. If nothing happens with a new health and safety strategy, then we can think that there will be more inequalities between workers, so between the different countries, but also in the different countries, between categories of workers. And it will result in more people dying for, uh, from bad working conditions, but also more people uh, who can't reach the retirement age and are expelled from the labor market. In time of crisis, many human rights can be threatened the right to public health, to education, the right to employment. Occupational health and safety is not a luxury we can do without. Social partners already have asked for a new strategy, so I think we did our job as so social partners. Uh, the European Parliament wants to have one, uh, and here's an audience from 27 different EU countries uh, who are asking the same. Is it? really not possible to write in a few weeks' time a very good new strategy. Uh, I think it is possible uh, within a few weeks' time, but that few weeks is not uh, at this uh, month or not in the next month. We believe that it is justified to have a proper consultation. The Commission now is finalising its evaluation of the EU strategy on health and safety at work for 2007 to 12. The results will serve as a basis for a public consultation on a possible new European health and safety strategy. So we should grasp every opportunity to discuss the subject with stakeholders and especially with the social partners. We need the Commission to listen, to come up with a programme that we can present to our members, we can work on and we can say yes, the European Union is a social project because it's doing something for you. If the approach to social problems does not change, the European Union is going to lose the sympathy and support of all the people of all the member states. Perhaps you could say it is wartime here, because imagine 160,000 people all having families, partners, children, the enormous tragedy behind it. The Commission cannot turn their back to this problem. I work in occupational health and we see that workers are exposed daily to substances as uh, pesticides, solvents, different plasticizers that uh, alter the, uh, their hormonal system and they can cause many different health effects such as reproductive uh, disorders, both in male and female, cancers. They are also responsible for neurological disorders and for uh, metabolic diseases like obesity and, uh, and diabetes. And what is very worrisome is that prenatal exposure, this is exposure in the womb, can cause these uh, diseases afterwards when you are an adult. There is no specific legislation for protecting workers from endocrine disruptors. There's some legislation for environment, but absolutely no legislation for workers. 
Nanomaterials and the products that contain them should not be in the market without their health and environmental effects being known. The European Parliament, several member states and stakeholders are urging the Commission to adopt adequate legislation for nanomaterials. Health and safety is something so essential to people that if the European Union is not capable to deliver a strategy for health and safety, to protect their health, their mental, physical health in their working days, in their working time, then Europe is not going to be trusted by workers.